Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews. So today we have something a little bit interesting to take a look at, something that I honestly did not expect to get the chance to own. We have the Jurassic World Dominion Blu-ray box set exclusive Velociraptor Blue and Beta model. Now this is something that was part of the kind of like very cool, every once in a while when you get a Jurassic film, they release the Blu-ray in a special edition where they give you like a statue. Like I remember at some point they did a T-Rex breaking through the gates. There was also the Jurassic World uh, T-Rex versus Indominus one that they had done and then we also have this one again the Velociraptor Blue and Beta but uh, it was like $150 for the Blu-ray set and uh, when it had first come out I was like you know very interested in it I really wanted to get a hold of it but then when I had seen what the actual final product was going to look like I was like there's no way I'm going to spend $150 on that so I did not and I ended up not getting it and now I don't even see the Blu-ray set anywhere I'll have to try to find a listing if anybody's interested in grabbing it after this review but this actually popped up on Mercari recently and and, uh, was a lot cheaper than the Blu-ray. I think it was like 40 bucks or something for it. So I thought, you know what, for $40, I think I can justify that. And that's like with shipping, I believe. So uh, I think it was around that. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure I got it for about 40 bucks, somewhere in that vicinity. And uh, for that price range, you know, I thought, can't go wrong with a really cool Jurassic World model here. And in hand, I will say I think it looks a little bit better than what I had seen from the images, but still by no means does it look great. Because if you look back to the promotional images they had shown off for it, you can see how high quality everything looks. It looks so nice and uh, way better than the actual final product. And then when you actually look at what we did get, you know, definitely a major decline in quality. But that said, I still feel like it's something that could potentially be fixed up enough to look really good if you repainted it, which is kind of what I'm thinking of doing with mine. Maybe at some point I'll repaint it to give it a way better, more, you know, screen accurate and highly detailed look. But regardless, we're going to go ahead and jump to a closer look at it right now so you can decipher whether this is something you might want to pursue and add to your collection. So when you start taking a closer look at it, you can see some aspects of it are okay, other aspects not so much. One thing I do really quite like is the eye paint of Velociraptor Blue. I think the eye looks really good, pretty highly detailed for the most part and definitely one of the highlights I would say for the set as a whole it has a nice gloss coat to it as well so it has a nice shine and uh, once you move past that though you can see the paintwork is really sloppy really messy they did get the blue stripe at least pretty nicely here it does come up to the correct side and everything and up and under the eye it's again not perfect but it's better than I expected one thing that is a big downside though for the figure is you can see a very obvious seam leading down here for the entire lower jaw where it was connected not even like a slight attempt to hide it it's pretty ugly as you can see we do have the mouth open for Velociraptor Blue however for some reason her tongue is crooked really really quite crooked they've also highlighted the nostrils with like an orangish tone which I think was just a very strange decision the inside of the mouth has a pretty bright pinkish tone to it you can see the teeth are all sculpted okay you know they look all right but they definitely could have used better paint the paint's really quite thick so it doesn't look that great but it also doesn't look bad this side specifically on the upper jaw at least looks pretty decent you can see the tones of gray again that we have applied are you know iffy it's really bright they've done a strong strong dry brushing to the figure which i also don't really like and uh, they did kind of attempt to put some depth into the paint schemes and paint applications of the figures it just turned out looking really sloppy overall but you can see here again what beta looks like beta i think looks a little bit better than blue Pretty decent paintwork again for the eyes of Beta as well, but pretty much the same style of paint. You've got the same coloration for the inside of the mouth if it would focus on it. Let's see if we can get it to do so. There you can kind of see again, but definitely some sloppiness when it comes to the painting of the teeth and everything for the inside of the mouth of Beta. And uh, as you move through, I think one of the things that stands out the most to me is again where all the limbs are connected, where you can very, very clearly see 
the uh, gaps in the area where the arm was connected, same deal for the leg. And another spot that's kind of a bummer is how they're applied to the base. You can see there's no actual paintwork or anything running up here along the toes to give us that look of the Velociraptor standing in the snow. It just looks like the same. You can obviously see it's the same grayish tone as the body, so it looks like they just basically placed it on there and then moved on. And I don't know if it's the same for blue. Yep, it absolutely is. So you can see again, the snow doesn't run up between the toes. So it just looks like it's obviously two separate pieces that have been connected. So you can see again, not a whole lot of care or effort was really put into this to make it look good. The nails are painted and there's something on that one. I don't know what that was, but the nails are painted with a grayish tone. The sculpting of the nails looks good. They have actually a really nice, genuinely sharp look to it. And you can see the same for the nails on the feet. You can see they as well look pretty nice. The sculpting and fine detailing aspect of the figure I feel like is okay. Definitely could have been a bit more vibrant, but it's honestly hard to pick up on how good it actually looks because there's so much paint and so much thick paintwork. Specifically in the legs of Velociraptor Blue, you can see they made an attempt to kind of give us that patterning that Blue has back here. But rather than actually putting forth a little effort, and they didn't use dark tones like they probably should have, they just basically slopped some gray paint here along the leg. Really thick. It doesn't look even remotely natural. And you can see, again, as we move through, there's just so much going on when it comes to that dry brushing. The dry brushing just really takes so much away from the figure. The blue stripe is applied, but it doesn't look natural. It looks honestly pretty generic, and that's another thing that's not a big uh, appeal factor for this figure. I feel like that definitely takes away from it. It doesn't look terrible and if you added a little paint yourself I think you could probably touch it up to look a bit nicer. You can see there's a nice curve to the tail of Velociraptor Blue here as you move back. Same deal for Beta. Nice curve in the tail but again just like I said with Beta you can see the same thing with Blue when it comes to where the limbs have been attached. There's super obvious seams and stuff for those areas, something that would definitely need to be uh, sealed up and fixed if you were going to repaint this to try to make it look a little bit better. So uh, again, it's definitely not the best figure in the world. And in fact, actually, now that I'm looking at it, you can see that the claws are both the regular sized sickle claws, whereas Beta should actually have a smaller claw and Beta unfortunately does not. But the raptor sculpts and everything look pretty decent. It's just the paint and the way that they've kind of uh, created them where they you know put them together the way that they've constructed them that looks bad because again there's just so many seams and the paintwork is pretty ugly overall as you move down into the base the base itself looks all right you know we've got the bright snow and then we've also got some rocks and stuff here within they did try at least a little bit when it comes to painting the rocks you can see that there's a little extra variation of color as you have grays and browns and stuff within the rocks i think honestly the rocks probably look better than the dinosaurs same deal for the log or pole whatever you want to call this back here you can see there's actually some decent paintwork added to it to kind of give it a bit of a realistic look and then as you move down to the stop sign i think the paintwork of the stop sign actually looks really nice i think they actually did a fairly decent job of you know weathering it and giving it a pretty decent look pretty realistic look as a whole but as you move through the rest of the model you can see again the snow looks okay the texturing of the snow looks okay the paintwork is pretty precise for the most part as you move through a little bit sloppiness here and there but for the most part as you move through it looks okay and again the variation of color on the rocks and stuff definitely helps to give it at least a little bit of a better look but still by no means is this a great release and you know it definitely had a lot of potential but they absolutely didn't put near enough effort into this release to make it look even remotely close to what we were shown in the original promo images. As far as a size goes, if you take just like the Velociraptor Blue for a length, you are looking at pretty much 10 inches or about 25 and a half centimeters on the dot. For a height, the highest point would be the tail of blue, about 7 inches or 18 centimeters. And then if we get like a distance of the entire thing here from like the base here, you're looking at about 9 and 3 quarter inches or about 25 centimeters, somewhere in that area roughly. For a size comparison, 
There is Mr. Papo T-Rex, the Attack Pack, Colovasaurus, and Robert Muldoon, as well as the Collect a Human Being next to our Velociraptor gift set statue, whatever you want to call this. And you can see it does have a pretty darn good size, pretty impressive size, so that is at least one redeeming factor of this release is that if you do acquire this, you do at least get a pretty nicely sized model. The base, of course, is, you know, what takes up most of the room for it, but... Overall, again, even though the dinosaurs are very lackluster, the base does have a pretty good size and definitely gives you a nice terrain, nice visual of the scene from Jurassic World Dominion. And I don't really think I'm going to do many comparisons with this one because I don't really think there's many comparisons that need to be done with something so unique and different. But you can see we have a Mattel Velociraptor and Dilophosaurus stepping in here for a comparison. And you can obviously see the raptors in this set, especially as far as, of course, Velociraptor Blue. They're definitely a bit larger than your standard Mattel Velociraptor is. I would say they're kind of similar in size to the Sega Velociraptor Blue, if anybody happens to have that one but uh, maybe even a little bit bigger. But still, again, they very clearly do sport a pretty nice size. So this Jurassic World Dominion Blu-ray set exclusive limited edition statue, you know, it had a lot of potential. It really did. It definitely could have been cool, and they had the opportunity to give us something that really was quite nice because when you look back to the original promo images, I thought that looked fantastic, and I would say probably the best version of this scene that I've seen released from any company until you actually see the model in person. Once you see the model in person, you pretty much change your mind on all of that. The sculpts of the dinosaurs look okay you know for the most part the fine detail is very muted on both of the models and the fact that the paintwork is so massively overdone on these really takes away the sculpt work you know it's actually hard to recognize the fine detail because there's just so much paint kind of slopped on them even when it comes to like the striping down the legs that just doesn't look good it looks very much so like paint on a figure. The dry brushing they've applied is definitely way too intense. It's uh, very ugly overall. So the paintwork, and it doesn't just cease there, but that's just like the two biggest annoyances, I think, as far as the paint apps go. Uh, the paintwork is not very good on either of them. The eye paint looks really cool, but that's pretty much the end of how nice the paintwork looks for the dinosaurs. The sculpts look okay, and if you take the uh, figures here and you give them a repaint I think you could make this look pretty awesome because that's probably the worst aspect of the models you know the detailing not being so great is a downside but I feel like you could probably dress them up enough with a nice paint application that it could still look passable but the uh, paintwork of these is honestly a disaster and they both just generally have a cheaper look than what you saw on the original promotional images those you know, images that they had shown off really made it look very high quality, whereas in person it definitely doesn't have even remotely close to that high quality look to them. The base looks pretty cool and definitely helps to set the scene here and also is pretty decently sized, which is a plus. The paintwork of the base actually looks honestly like they put more effort into that than the dinosaurs especially when you look at the weathering on the stop sign and the variation of color included in the rocks and stuff but the entire thing again even with a little bit of decent paintwork on the base in my opinion falls flat so if you are going to purchase this if you have the chance to do so I would recommend purchasing it with the intentions of repainting it. If you are going to purchase this with the intentions of getting an awesome Velociraptor Blue and Beta statue, I would definitely look elsewhere and find something from somebody else that's a little bit higher quality. Regardless, I will try my best to find a link to include in the description where you can grab one. So if you are interested, make sure you check that out and also like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next review. Thanks for watching.